Hi, my name is Dan Murphy. I'm a lawyer based out of Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, a little casual today as it's Friday. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you about uh, termination generally as uh, from an employment uh, law perspective. Uh, there's termination without cause. This is where you're let go and you have uh, no idea as to why your employer decided to dismiss you. Now, in this case, uh, things are very straightforward. You would want to hire a lawyer because the Employment Standards Code uh, provides for uh, some base amounts you're owed, but this is certainly not the end of your entitlement. Uh, the common law, which is decisions made by courts that have developed over time, which allows you to, uh, to determine what an appropriate set of damages, uh, looks at things such as the age, your age, uh, your length of service, and uh, position with the organization, and your avail availability to find similar work. Uh, so something where you're entitled to, say you're entitled to two weeks by the Employment Standards Code, could be something where if you have a lot of years of service in, uh, you could be entitled to months and months of uh, severance payment. So uh, definitely worth exploring with an employment lawyer. Uh, and uh, we uh, conduct consultations here and we'll give you a sense of what your entitlements could be and uh, we negotiate on your behalf. The other uh, issue is when they, uh, you were dis dismissed with cause. Uh, this is uh, more problematic as the employer uh, does not uh, owe you the uh, severance under the common law if they can explain why it's justified for you to be dismissed. However, it's not as simple uh, as that because the employer bears the burden, so the onus on the, is on them to explain why uh, you should be uh, dismissed and why your behavior is so egregious that it warrants immediate dismissal. So if in the case of uh, someone who did something wrong for the first time, uh, the employer has a, a tough uh, burden to bear in terms of explaining why uh, they let you go, okay? And why there weren't other measures short of termination that weren't employed, such as warnings, uh, uh, suspensions, etc. Uh, if they fail to do this then, uh, or meet their onus, then it becomes a situation where it's an employment uh, determination uh, uh, without cause and you're entitled to those same uh, enhanced damages that I just discussed. So uh, for, for anybody who finds themselves terminated, I think it's important that you at least have a consultation with an employment lawyer so that you can determine whether you are entitled to more. Uh, a lot of people walk away from employment, they're upset, and they uh, don't attempt to go back to the employer and seek uh, an appropriate severance. And I, I would suggest this is not the way to do things. I suggest the, way, the best way to do things is to uh, seek out uh, legal counsel, determine what is appropriate for you, uh, see if you're entitled to more money, which could be a significantly significant amount of money. Uh, I've had clients where they're entitled to, uh, you know, two weeks of pay, and then they end up getting paid 24 months uh, of severance, um, as uh, or they're entitled to, uh, you know, 15 grand or 15,000, and then they end up walking away with 80 to 100 thousand dollars. So uh, it's a real issue. Uh, it's not always known, and of course the employer doesn't. Uh, necessarily inform you of your rights, uh, especially on termination, as they're the ones who are on the hook for paying uh, the additional monies. So um, again, my name is Dan Murphy. I'm a lawyer out of Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, happy to help you with your employment law issues. Uh, call our offices, uh, visit our website, make an appointment, and uh, I'm happy to meet with you and discuss all your potential entitlements and uh, look at our opportunities for uh, potential uh, you know, gains for yourself. Um, it shouldn't be that you're just dismissed and uh, discarded. And uh, this, this, this couples with the constructive dismissal a video I did earlier, which is another form of dismissal. Um, but again, uh, the same uh, principles apply. Um, the common law uh, com combined with the legislation uh, can, which is the law, uh, can account for a much larger severance payment than you thought ever possible. All right, so that's, uh, that's it for me on this Friday. I hope everyone has a good weekend. Uh, take care, and uh, I will uh, be uh, on video soon. Take care.